starting route to Arby's. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. This is truly where America thrives. Meat Mountain. The biggest sandwich Arby's has ever sold. We have the meat. Stacked ridiculously high with almost all the meats. Why leave any off? Because it probably tastes like this. <laughs> Two chicken tenders, slices of roast turkey, pit smoked ham, horned beef, 13 hour smoked brisket, USDA choice Angus steak, roast beef, and pepper bacon. That's like a million meats. Chicago is known for its fine dining, it's known for its fun hole-in-the-wall places, so naturally we went to Arby's, two Meat Mountain sandwiches acquired, jump cut! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Some people climb mountains, Corey. They buy different types of things to scale mountains. You know what you and I do? Oh my God. Dude, this is awesome. There's no way I can get my mouth on this. <laughs> Come on, man, just channel your altar server days. Yeah. It just come. it feels like a ball. Yeah, it does. Is that cheese even remotely melted? Not even close. I mean, come on now with this. This is, this is ridiculous. Look at this sandwich. Let's darken it so you can see the, look at this. I read all the meats and I've already forgotten. Do, 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 oh, do, yeah, do, like that for desserts. Do, 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 do. I think the opening trick is give a little. Yeah, smush it down. <laughs> <laughs> that was really smart. Gotta give a little mush action. Yeah. There's no vegetables on this, is there? Hope not. Actually, looks like a despawn, too. It does. There you go. Ah! This is the Arby's Meat Mountain. Oh. Cheers. Mmm. Those flavors go together well. Yeah, look at it. I got, did you do a good first bite? I went pretty even. Look at it, I went like through it all. Oh, nice. There is two pieces of cheese on here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Did you think the meat was gonna be warm? I hope. For those of you who are at home or at work, they're watching this in the dentist waiting room, this isn't warm. Chicken is. I wonder if they can do that. Here's two bites in. Dude, this is nuts. It's pretty good, though. I like that they put tenders on here. Mm -hmm. Good for them. Mm -hmm. Ballsy move. Yeah, definitely the ball juice of the meat moves. Right. right there. Now, with the chicken on the bottom, I'm starting to see some oh, rip, yeah. some rippage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I do too. You know how fried chicken's pretty sharp. Right. Cut a man with fried chicken once. Did he live to tell about it? Uh-uh. Oh. Well, he survived the cut, but he got hit by a bus like two <laughs> days later. <laughs> do you have any interest in ever climbing a mountain? You look terrible. Kilimanjaro or Everest. Glad you could join us. Yeah, sure. No, nothing that big. I like nature. Right. I like hiking. Mm-hmm. But anything that's gonna be like physical pain. Like you don't climb major mountains, I think, without like severe pain. Right. You almost died out there. I would do one for fun. Yeah. Like a difficult hike. Yeah. It's about you and that you seem like you'd be into that. I love climbing. Isn't that fun? So fun. The chicken tenders goes really well with all this though. All the meats are pretty salty, but like the bacon and the chicken tender really stand out to me. Yep, me too. The worst thing about this is like, you really just can't take one big, like you can't really bite it all at once. No. I'm pretty impressed with the fact that like the layering and then like it's not falling apart. I thought it'd be like so much sloppier. It's yep. a dry sandwich. You gotta like, you know who would love this sandwich? Dwight Schrute. Who wants some man meat? I do. I want some man meat. Huh? Michael, Dwight would like your man meat. Well then my man meat, he shall have. I mean, this feels like a challenge, kind of like climbing a mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, did you tell him about? Completely forgot to tell you guys. I told Corey this off camera. When I walked in there, I ordered the two Meat Mountain sandwiches. The lady's face was like, ugh. <laughs> I felt bad. She was like, I'm just making those. Oh, man. Like, think about it. This is insane. Mm -hmm. The poor woman was just felt bad for the woman that was going to have to make it behind her. Everyone's got that thing at work that you're like, I know I got to do this, but every time anybody asks me to do this, it makes me want to just punch them in the d Right. And it's these. And it's probably been so much of these lately. Look, I ordered one good burger with nothing on it. 
And that's what I gave you. No, you gave me a bun. Just a bun. Look, there's no meat in here. But you said you wanted nothing on it. But she's probably still recovering from her, like, I bet lunch down there is madness. People probably get mad if you take more than 30 seconds to get something done. Yep. I looked up the nutritional info on the sandwich because oh, I'm God. so curious. I will say, I thought it would have been way more than this. This sandwich. Yeah, I guess jelly meats aren't too bad. 1,030 calories. That's half the day's worth of food. Mm -hmm. 51 grams of fat. Okay, here's where it's bad. 3,600 milligrams of sodium. That's crazy. But 87 grams of protein. There we go. <laughs> nice muscle shirt, bro. The skin is in, bro. Guys with bice and trice, bro. I think the MVP of this, though, is the chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. I do wonder what this would taste like if you took the time to, like, put all these things on the grill for a second, like on the mm -hmm. warm top, and then put it on the sandwich and, like, grill the bun a little bit. Oh, I wonder man. if that'd be insane. That'd be so good. The cheese would be all melted. Yeah. Littering and... Littering and... Uh, and uh, yeah, I feel like I've accomplished something. Me too. Almost. I got my hand up on the ledge. My foot's starting to slip. I pull myself up. I'm sitting there yelling. You can't do it, you f***ing pussy. Just let go and drop. <laughs> hey, don't drink my Gatorade. Why are you I drinking I brought that Gatorade. you were a loser. I brought that Gatorade, Corey. And this is how you get to the tippy top. Dude, that was satisfying. I didn't bring anything to drink. Want some coffee? Out of five Yetis, they're up on the mountain <laughs> trying to f with you. Out of five Yetis, how many Yetis do you give the Meat Mountain from Arby's? Most of the greatness of it was just the fact that it was just massive. Yeah. Right? Right. If I'm doing like flavor based, it still is good. I'd give it a three. That's three a out of five. Respectable st score. Two yeah. and a half's average. Mm hmm. I was thinking three. the exact same thing. Mm hmm. I'm going to give the Meat Mountain a mountainous three out of five. Three out of five. It's not a mountainous number. It is when it's uh, diabetes on a sandwich. Let's see how much those were now that we've given our score like and it won its back so. in. $12. Per sandwich? 12 bucks a sandwich. $24 oh. for two of those. Mm. That makes it so not worth it. That's more of like a stunt thing. You're not totally, gonna you're totally. not gonna get that for dinner. Yeah, even for dinner. Totally a stunt. You know how all Arby's commercials are always like this? Say you They're like that really weird deep voice. We don't always have the meat that you'd want, but we do when you want it. Like it's this weird fing voice. Sometimes just looking at a sandwich can fill you with pride. What the fuck? Just like how eating a sandwich can fill you with sandwich. Arby's. That's weird. <laughs> Sounds like somebody who is developing diabetes and is doing all of the voices for Arby. Yeah. You know when you're dying on your deathbed and you look at yourself and your life and you realize you were eating Arby's every day. These are the meats as meats are meant to be. What did you guys think of our hot sauce, hot ones tribute video? I think I'm gonna literally Mm -hmm. Go live in your shower after this. That is some evolutionary shit. My lips hurt so bad. I feel like they're blistering. That killed me a little inside, outside, everywhere. I hope you're not using the toilet. It's broken. Can I use this chunk to talk shit about that kid? You guys seen this idiot who said that I apparently am too much of a too too much of a gentleman. He can't fathom that a human being would be polite to a fast food worker, so he's convinced that I can't just couldn't possibly be coming from a true place in my heart. Negative Nancy over here. Negative Nancy, for some reason that upset me a little bit. I take a lot of pride in uh, you know being nice to, to service workers. My mom being a single parent when I was growing up was a waitress when I was first starting out as an embryo, and then until I was about three. Or four, she got her degree. So I was really pissed off talking shit to this guy until I realized this dumb, stupid idiot is a flat earther. I went on his stupid ass YouTube page. He's got a whole playlist about how the earth is flat. He just makes illogical thoughts. He's just a dumb turd piece of shit human. Basically, just wanted to throw that out there because uh, somebody commented on there and was like, This dude's about to talk shit about you on his YouTube videos. And I decided, you know what, Deji's grandpa, you're right. You're polite to workers. No, he's not. He's too nice. It's not possible to be that nice. It means it's got to be fake. You want me to make you a cup of water or you have a bottle? No, I already got one. I appreciate the offer though. It's very nice of you. Well, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well. Can you give me one hot second, please? Yeah, no, no doubt. No doubt. Thank you. Oh, fire sauce, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Always get fire sauce. Always be nice to your Taco Bell drive through attendant. Can I please have two Cod Sammies, please? Can I get two McDoubles and uh, two McChickens, please? Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you. Are you excited yeah. for New Year's Day? Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Merry yeah. Christmas. Hey, Happy holidays. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Thank you, enjoy. Yeah, will do. We're making a video about how good this beer can chicken is. Oh, I'm suck it. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. We're so excited. Thank you, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Hi there. Welcome to the editing bay where literally every single episode of Number Six with Cheese is put together. Was that enough pleases and thank yous from the archive? Do I need to go through more? Do you want to watch a longer video? I think the point was put across pretty well, but if not, here's another monologue. I will say this real quick. As somebody who sits next to Corey and has done these videos and hangs out with him and has known him for a while now, whatever it comes off as, if you're thinking that, allow, if you're, if you're letting me be the basis, he's a very genuine person. I'll just, I'll be the like voice of like, that's fine if you thought that. I, I'm just saying that you're th you're thinking too much into it. So that's all we're saying on that. Despite people that are trying to bring us down, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below with what you love about Corey. <laughs> oh man, there's anywhere I can go pee at real quick. You gotta pee? Go on Kosi. Oh yeah, I gotta do this thing. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. Well, he had to pee, so I guess I'll end this episode. Thanks for being you guys.